Hello dear students, in this session we will try to understand, we will try to learn how to derive expression for electric potential energy of system of two point charges in the absence of external electric field. Okay. In the absence of external electric field, that means we have to consider, we have to consider a space wherein there is no external electric field. Okay. And we have to derive electric potential energy of a system of charges. So first we need to uh, understand potential energy means what? Potential energy means in general it is work done. Potential energy of system of two point charges means work done to assemble those two point charges from infinity to the current places. Okay. So electric potential energy we are calculating means basically we have to calculate the work done in assembling those two charges. Okay. Here we have considered a space where there is no external electric field. Here I will consider two points. Say this point is A and this point is B. Okay, the distance between those two points, let it be R, R A B or R 1 2. Okay, say I will bring, I will bring a charge Q 1 from infinity and place it at point A. And I will bring a charge Q 2 from infinity and place it at point B. Here uh, the nature of the path in which we are bringing the charge is immaterial because electrostatic force is a conservative force. Work done in a force just depends on initial and final points only. Okay. So I have brought Q1 and Q2 from infinity and I, I, have, I have placed it here. Okay. Initially first what I have done? First I brought, first I brought Q1. Okay, I'll I'll go back if you want. First I brought Q1. When I brought Q1, here there was no electric field. Here there was no opposition. Correct now. When there is no opposition for the motion of this charge, okay. So what is the work done? To bring the first charge Q1, the work done is zero. Work done is zero. Now, when you are bringing the second charge Q2 and place it over here, when you brought this charge Q2, there is an electric field now. Who is producing electric field? Q1 is producing electric field here. Correct now. So, this will oppose. Some opposition will be there. So, you have to do some work. This work is not zero. Now, what is the formula for work done? We know. I will write here. Work done. To bring Q2, work done to bring Q2. What is work done to bring Q2? Work done, okay, is equal to charge into potential difference. Work done is equal to charge into potential difference. This is our formula. What is the charge? I am bringing Q2. What is the potential difference? So here, okay, at infinity potential is zero. Here there is some potential. What is the potential? Here there is a potential due to Q1. What is that potential? Potential is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 divided by R12 because this potential is produced by is due to Q1. And now, now what happened? W2 is equal to therefore W2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 divided by R12. Therefore, total work done, total work done W is equal to W1 plus W2. W1 is however 0. Therefore, total work done is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 divided by R12. But according to the definition, what is the definition of electric potential energy? Electric potential energy is the work done in assembling those two charges. So, total work done we have calculated. So, therefore, by definition, therefore, by definition, according to definition, okay, electric potential energy is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 divided by R12. This is the final equation. Hope you understood this. Thank you very much.